Hello, this is DIY Reptiles, and today I am going to be doing an absolute load of things. But to start off, we're going to grab Phoebe, which is the giant female yellow slider. Her name used to be Peewee from the previous owner, but I now changed it, so that's what it is now because I didn't. It doesn't exactly fit what she is. But I'm going to bring her outside along with me. Okay, so today I'm going to let her run around in this enclosure, and then I'm going to go over here. So, today I need to finish bringing all the stuff, all everybody in, okay? Because everybody needs to come in, but I haven't been able to do that because of the situation inside. But before I can get to the situation inside, I have to take all this down. So, we're going to start off by draining the tank by just taking the pump and starting to pump things out. And then while that's happening, I'm gonna use that water to clean off all of the rocks and stuff that are in here. And then I will bring them inside to see if I want to use them in any of the enclosures inside, as well as we have a bunch of plants in here that I want to take out or do something with to figure out what I'm gonna do something with them. And then in here right now we have Norman and we have the goldfish and I will be taking those out and I'll bring them inside after I work on the stuff inside. So I'm going to drain this and you know remove everything. Then I'm going to go inside set things up for the goldfish then I'll bring the goldfish inside and then I'll set everything up for Norman and Phoebe inside and then I'll bring them back inside and then I'll put Susan, I'll put Susan in the 75 gallon with probably a lot of this stuff from here so then I can you know move over beneficial bacteria and stuff but I need to clean it because everything's gross in this tank because there was like a ton of turtles in here so now the plan of action is to prepare the empty 75 gallon tank to temporarily hold the goldfish while I work on the 125 gallon tank so in the 125 gallon I really need to put a divider in it unfortunately because Phoebe and Norman have to be separated because they're both aggressive adult red eared sliders. I can't put Susan in with either one of them because like I said, they're both aggressive and Susan can't be in the community tank because Susan will eat the fish and the gravel while these guys will not. So the solution to all of that is to have a divider in the 125 gallon have all the goldfish, Norman and Phoebe in the 125 gallon and then have Susan in the 75 gallon by herself because I think there's only like three other goldfish and there's no reason to move those into here and she's aggressive towards fish anyway or at least smaller fish. And that is kind of the plan of action. So I have new gravel to go in with Susan and in the 125 gallon. So essentially I need to completely take everything down with the 125 gallon and then set it back up. So that's kind of disappointing and annoying, but I'm gonna re be redoing it. And when I'm redoing it, I'm gonna use some of the same rocks and stuff that were in the 300 gallon, which is why I needed to drain the 300 gallon first. So to get the goldfish in here inside, I need to start moving the water over into the 75 gallon. So I can just move these goldfish straight over and then I'll move the other ones as well once I get that. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go out back outside, catch those three goldfish, put them in a bucket, and then bring it in here so then it can get to room temp, which is what temperature they will be. I have a heater in the 125 gallon now, but I'm gonna take it out because I we really don't, I don't need it in, in there. And then they can kind of acclimate at the same time. And I'm gonna take Susan back, I'm gonna take her outside because it's really not, I mean, it's colder, but it's actually really not that much colder. So she can just hang out in there for a little while while I take down the 125 gallon and work on it. Okay, so while I am finishing up draining the 300 gallon, I am gonna try to continue on cleaning up this area a little bit even though it's a complete mess I am going to get rid of all these tomato plants because it's getting cold and they're not going to produce anything any longer so it's time to pull them up and then I'm just going to throw them in our actual garden that we'll plant next year rather than these pots. 
Now I need somewhere to keep the goldfish while I work on the 125 gallon. So I'm temporarily setting up the 75 gallon just with this pump to have some airflow. And then I'm putting all five of the goldfish that I have in there just very temporarily. And also the catfish that I have while I figure out what I'm doing exactly with the 125 gallon. So I'm removing this big tub of lava rock and I'm just removing absolutely everything all of the water just get it all out of there because there's so much just different stuff all over the bottom and I just want to start completely new so I first start off with the barrier that I'm making I'm using egg crate for this I eventually have to extend it because Norman is able to climb over it but then I just kind of have like a simple type rockscape going on with some cool driftwood pieces and then I'm using really large river stone. I fill it up once to let the water kind of get rid of some of the dirt and then I just fill it up. I like really, really need to stop doing that. This is all I filmed, okay? I just, <laughs> I just didn't film anything after that. So by the time I go to edit it, I just have no idea what happened after that. So then I have to resort to filming real time and that's confusing. I just, why don't I film the ends of the videos? I, okay, so <laughs> let's film the end of the video. So here's the tank. It looks really bad. I, I don't even know if this will be in a video at some point, but I'm gonna clean it up. It's just the filters kind of got clogged and I really need to do a water change and that's essentially it. So everybody's fine and I got the filters unclogged and it was just a mess. So it's it's good now, <laughs> but it, it looks bad, but it's been clear for like the longest time. So overall doing well, I had to add an extra deal here because Norman kept climbing over and I built Norman a basking area. Again, I'm not sure if I'll, I'll show that at some point, so there's been some changes and stuff and there's still changes to come in this tank. I'm sure I'll film that. But for now, this is what it looks like and stuff. And then as far as I'm aware, I didn't film Susan's tank at all or explain anything that went on with that. So I feel like I've filmed her in, in a past video that you guys have already seen, but that was in the future compared to what you guys just saw or not just saw, but okay. So this is Susan's tank. And this is Susan Susan's The Elvis Slider. She would go in this tank, except she would eat the fish and she would compulsively eat the gravel because she's a massive turtle and she can do that. But this tank has really big gravel, as you can see. It's not the cleanest tank. You might be wondering, like, where the heck are the filters? There's a really strong pump in there, but on top of that, there is actually a filter that's under or behind that rock, and that's like a, a fluval in in tank filter and I, I that was one I got at some point from somebody giving it to me and it seems to work well the tanks all right it really needs a water change needs glass cleaned but other than that I mean it's clear which is pretty successful <laughs> if you ask me <laughs> I know my standards are pretty low but Susan does well she eats really well and she's you know li living very well and the, the tank does evaporate quite quickly. It's because it's actually really, really warm. And that's because that pump is so powerful. So as you can see, the water's all moving and stuff. And that's because of that really powerful pump down there. That's kind of just shooting water and circulating it really well. And that's kind of why there's particles in the water. It's because there's not the best mechanical filtration, but there's very good biological filtration in here. There's lots of rocks and different things for the, the stuff to grow on. There's also like a really big huge brick of like mechanical filtration or biological filtration sorry so that's what's going on in here and she's set up now there's still some issues with both of these setups this one i i have a ceramic heat emitter on but it's too hot so i need to get a better a better heat bulb which i'll be buying it has uvb across the whole thing has a has that's what's here so there's a four foot uvb for her and then she gets up on her basking area and that does well and then over here i said i'd be changing things in the future obviously i'm going to clean it up and do everything with that but also norman needs more of a proper basking area i might not change it i might in the future i'm really not sure because 
I really liked the piece of wood that he's on as it is like right now, but at the same time, I really had it envisioned for a different project that I'll be working on. So I don't know if I'll still utilize it for that project or if I'll go ahead and leave him be because I think he does look really cool with that. But the problem is it's stacked on a bunch of other pieces of wood, which is partly why the tank's so dirty is because I added a bunch of pieces of wood in here that just weren't <laughs> like they just, you know, they leached a bunch of tannins into, this, into the water as well as just, you know, the filters weren't running real good for a while and it just, it wasn't good. So that that is issues, but everybody's fine. I mean, it's just very unsightly right now. And then Phoebe's doing well, but this, this basking area is just too big. Like it needs to be like half the size. And I'm gonna try if I can to add some sort of egg laying area for her as well, I have an idea. So I'm gonna try to downsize the masking area so it's about half the size, it kind of goes down in, in there if that makes sense, so like move those back there, have a, a little dirt area for her as well, and just see if that will be helpful. And then that'll let more light into here and make this side be a little bit better. The fish have been doing well, the goldfish actually bred, and they bred right before the filters kind of stopped working so well so the that none of the eggs hatched but they also kind of ate a lot of them so i don't know they'll probably breed again in the future and it would be interesting to have baby goldfish but i'm not exactly trying to breed them because i don't exactly want more goldfish but that's kind of what's been going on so up until when it looked this dark and stuff up until i added the wood and that everything was growing really really well like it really was so it's kind of disappointing looking right now but this weekend i'm gonna do water changes on everything get everything cleaned up and everybody will be do doing well and it's really just unsightly it's not too much of an issue for them so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm sorry you can't enjoy the scape at the end the scape really is pretty cool i really like this side that side's kind of like eh, and susan sinks kind of not really ideal in any way but i do think that this tank is pretty cool when you can actually see into it and the water lettuce i'm not entirely sure what video that goes in or what even the it wasn't in there at the beginning of this video but it was in there in the last video i'm really i don't understand i really don't I, i'm confused to be perfectly honest but it's here now and it's been doing really well and then i added more from outside as well so I'm hoping everything will convert and it's doing pretty well and it's creating lots of more things. So it'll kind of cover the whole surface. And then that was what the goldfish were able to lay their eggs into. So I assume that they'll do that again in the future. But if you enjoyed this video and me bringing in the, the animals and everything, then like it down below. If you have any comments or concerns, put in the comments below. And if you want more content, then subscribe. Have a fantastic day.